Hello everyone. I am here with a flip through of this journal. It is a very full chunkamunka journal. Um, and so let me first tell you about the, whoops, the con, how I can, the conception of this journal. So, um, the beginning of the quarantine, my son and I rewatched the, um, the Hobbit movies and the um, and we do this periodically. You know, I'm a huge Tolkien fan, and I read the reread the books every few years. And I sorry, I'm just cutting out off some of these stray stray strands. Um, and then we re we rewatch all the movies. And we did a marathon of all the Hobbit movies and all of the Lord of the Ring movies. And I um, love Radagast the Brown. So while there are no actual images or, or textual referrals or anything Tolkien in the book, because that would be copyright infringement, this whole thing is kind of an homage to Radagast the Brown. So the cover is needle felted. It's um, a piece of wool felt that you then take roving of different colors and you stab the roving into the felt to create a, kind of a, a painting in wool. And so the spine is a tree that goes onto both sides. And in it, there's in the movie, there's a line about how Radagast loves mushrooms. So there's some mushrooms and ferns and a little brook all around and there's the tree and then this, the brook goes through to the side and then the path goes off into the woods in the distance. And the, um, the other themes in here are hedgehogs and butterflies. And these are both uh, needle felted, there's a needle felted hedgehog paperclip and a needle felted moth paperclip. So it is held together with a sorry, sorry silk that goes through, um, it goes through the whole book and there is fabric and a fabric pocket. And both of these are sewn, were sewn separately and then glued on to the felt. So it's a very um, sturdy, soft cover cover. And then here is um, a little charm, a nest charm that I wanted to include, um, but it's a very heavy charm. Um, so I just pinned it here and it refers to the nest that Radagast always has in, under his hat. Oh, shoot, I just realized. So this is an ephemera folder. I just realized I forgot to put the ephemera in it. <laughs> but when I sell this, this, this will have like stickers and mushrooms and birds and things, you know, the little vellum stickers and maybe some fussy cuts. There'll be some stuff in here, <laughs> but I just realized I forgot to fill it. And I wanted it to feel somewhat magical. So everything is, all the closures throughout the book are magnets, because that's like magic. Um, this is a signal, sig single signature that is just tied in. So once you finish up with this journal, the cover is reusable. It was, it was too intense um, a cover, I think, to have it be a one-time use. So you can put in new um, journals, and it fits. Um, it fits like a standard size piece of paper that is folded in half. So this is um, just shy of six by nine. So if you fold a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, um, any of those size sing single signature journals will fit. Um, so this is a fabulous paper pack that I can't get anymore. It's by Dovercraft and it was woodland and I, and I tea dyed it and all the pages have been um, torn and deckled. This is an envelope here with a magnet and this has, I had intended, there's a lot of stuff that I had intended to include, but I just ran out of space. So this is, these are all Mrs. Cog's herbal healing remedies because he helps the animals. 
um, with his, his foods. And so I've backed those all and I had intended to include them in the journal, but I ran out of space. So they're just in there for you to use as you want. Um, this is, well, I'm not going to struggle with this one because this one is tight when it, the envelope is full, but there's another one of these. This is a rice paper decoupaged vellum. So the vellum is both sides and I'll show you more of that vellum. Throughout there are hedgehogs and hedgehog footprints as his hedgehog friends walk across his desk and mushrooms. And this is a uh, inked vellum that I have uh, sewn into the journal. And this is a paper clip. It's a, um, this is also needle felted. I sewed the paper clip to the backing felt and then glued the two pieces together. And this is one of those vellum, uh, decoupaged vellum journaling cards. My goal was to have it feel very mossy and growth, full of growth. So that's what all these are. And a little hedgehog from a book and hedgehog footprints. And then this is a, a magnetic clip. So it, it holds, whoops, got some strong magnets in there. And it holds this. This is like the one that I showed you before. It's got inked vellum sewn on the back and then decoupaged rice paper onto the front vellum. So it's two slices of vellum. This is a vellum pocket with a book page journaling card on tea dye paper. Radagast has a whole team of hairs that pull his forest sled. And that goes in there. There's a little another little bunny and another hedgehog with hedgehog footprints and hair. And this is a fabric pocket. And in this one are, this is Mrs. Cog's image. And these are Mrs. Cog's um, healing plants, medicinal plants. And those are all um, backed. And that's a, a um, needle felted leaf that is attached to the fabric with a bulb pin. And some more journaling cards. This is the vellum one in a vellum pocket. And this is a Stamperia journaling card. Same here, Stamperia journaling card in a vellum pocket, a vellum journaling card in the vellum pocket. And then on the front of this is a, it's very hard, it might be hard to see right now, but there's a skeleton leaf and a fuzzy cut moth that's the same type of moth that I needle felted. And there's a cute little um, glass mushroom bead that's on a teeny tiny Tim Holtz paper clip. More footprints and sewn bits. And you can see the hedgehog walk clear across the page here. And this is an inked vellum pocket with a uh, collage journaling card. He has sparrows nesting under his hat all the time. And that slides in there. And this is uh, the center. This is more of that Dovercraft paper that's had deckled the edges deckled and it's been coffee stained. And this has a vellum pocket that has a, a magnet. And inside the vellum pocket is, this is a, an Edith Holden page that I've backed with tea dyed paper for journaling. And then over here behind it is a Stamperia Hedgehog drilling card with some stuff sewn on the edge. And this is a Tim Holtz vellum pocket with um, that same moth, a polyphemus moth that is a journaling card. And here is the paper clip that has the needle felted polyphemus moth. And again, I've sewn the paper clip to the backing of that. And that just paper clips on right there. And here's another vellum pocket, and this has some Stamperia, there's the hedgehog again, journaling cards, and another vellum pocket with a collaged journaling card um, that has a Luna moth that flies in there. 
And these are two vellum journaling cards in a vellum pocket. I didn't add anything to these because so, as you can see, it's so chunky that I, I had to start to be more economical with its thickness. And there's another mushroom charm. Vellum pocket with a sparrow and a vellum journaling card. Here is a Tim Holtz vellum envelope that's held in place with a paper clip and some Mrs. Cog's forest images. Actually, this one, I don't think this is Mrs. Cog's. I think this is uh, Old Design Shop. And then those just, those are backed and inked and those just slide in there. And the same thing, this paper clip has been um, backed and sewn. And look, there's a little harvest mouse. And similar to the front, these are the healing plants. And it has Mrs. Cog's image as well. And a, a needle felted leaf that is bulb pinned to that fabric. Here and this is the other side of that pocket, and this is a, a fold out. It does it does magnet closed, and it flips out like this. And here is a very I needed a thin card for that right there. So that's a Hedgehog Stamperia journaling card, and this is a Stamperia journaling card. And in here, oh, I forgot to put anything in here, is a book page um, envelope. It just looked perfectly foresty to me. I loved the way that looked. It even has a little hair and an Oriole and a Robin. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Love it. And this is the Stamperia Woodland Paper, which I adore. This is a magnetic... There are two magnets in here that there that hold it to the page and this has a window with a um, some a dried daisy and moss that I that I um, pressed in my flower press and it just has a little bit of a waterfall of um, inked pages and that just clips to the page that way. And then there's stuff on the back also. And this is just, um, this has just got journaling space. This is that inked vellum that I've just glued down to the page because I didn't want to cover up the bird in the nest. And um, so here's a quote. I had intended to do tons of quotes, but I ran out of space. But so I just included my favorite John Muir quote and another vellum journaling card. And then this, and that's the back of that card. Um, wait, I did this wrong. There. And then it just magnets closed. And more hedgehogs and vellum sewn in. And there's a book page of that hair and a morel. And then this is another magnet pocket. I love that, how that came out. And then there are two journaling tags inside this pocket. That was kind of a collaged guest tag. And then sliding in the back is a vellum, sewn vellum decoupage journaling card. And then in the back, is another Tim Holtz vellum envelope with lots of extra journaling cards and images and things. Most of them, I think, they're all Mrs. Cogs. As well as some of the decoupaged vellum. Maybe I'll stick one of these in that envelope. Or you guys can decide whether or not you do that. So that is my homage to Radagast the Brown. I will be listing this in my Etsy and I will include the links below. 
Thank you for watching. If you haven't, please click like and subscribe. And I hope you're all staying well and crafting a lot during our time of hunkering down. Bye-bye.